So without spoiling too much, why do I think this is on the more greatest of all time versus trash category? Well, there's a lot going on here. So in terms of defects, I do think they could have trimmed quite a few key scenes. And in fact, a couple scenes could have just been cut altogether. But I do think in terms of what they're trying to do with this story in terms of Barry making this tragic choice of letting his mother die or trying to fix certain aspects of the multiverse, I think overall they did a pretty solid job. That said, probably the visual design is one of the Achilles heel of this entire project. The film is very strong when it hews to using practical effects and just working with the live actors. It sounds a little strange in the trailer with what they're saying, but once you see the film, it's not as silly or stupid as it, you think. Uh, let's just say that what was being said with Batman, Flash, and even Supergirl makes a lot more sense, but you have to see the whole film. And I think the trailers give a lot away, but not as much as you think. So I do think you have to see the whole film. And I think either people left too early or just skipped the intro when they went to see the film because there's a lot going on. And overall, I was satisfied that the story was pretty solid. I don't know if this will ever be top five. Maybe that's being too generous. But I definitely think you can make a case for a top ten list of greatest of superhero films. That said, you do need to know a few things. If you're completely new to all these films, if you don't know anything about Batman or Superman or Wonder Woman, you'll be very confused. But if you've caught at least a few of the films, the classic Batman films, and some of the more recent Snyder first films, you'll be fine. And they do try to catch people up. And I think they did a pretty good job there. That said, this is aimed mainly at comic book fans, Flash fans, and just fans of Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman. And they are very prominent. Probably the one place that this is vulnerable to being criticized is this is basically a Justice League film in disguise. And yes, it is mainly featuring The Flash, but it's kind of like these past films that were about the Justice League but focused on Batman. Here is a Justice League film that focused on The Flash, and I think they did a pretty good job. But you probably wish in retrospect that they just focused really more on The Flash. But I like the fact that it was balanced. These very different elements, the different tones, different personalities. But in terms of the story, the one that felt a little off, it's not bad, but it did feel a little strange, was Batman. Because he's actually one of the best parts with Michael Keaton. But just some of his demeanor or dialogue early on didn't quite make sense. Again, this is a different version. It is using the burned Batman. But again, things have changed because of what Barry did to the timeline. So I guess his attitude is a little bit different. But once we get into the main story, it's fine. What he does makes sense. And how he acts was very, very in character. There's just this one scene where he has to be very stern and ask Supergirl and Flash a very straightforward question. Say, okay, how is this? I want a very simple numerical answer. And they give it, and it's very critical to the plot. There are many places where this felt very much what it was promised, that we're meeting these different versions of the heroes, but they're staying in character. So when it's good, it's really, really good. But there are a few off moments, and I think overall, when it's strong, it's very strong, and the weak moments were not enough for me to pull down the score that much. So I'm giving this a 8.25 out of 10. The fun moments were pretty fun, tragic moments pretty tragic, a few dodgy moments in between, but overall, a very, very powerful film-going experience.